Hello, community. <laughs> Yesterday, I learned about a recent study where 66% of people reported feelings of unworthiness. I know you're probably like, Des, whoa, I just clicked play. But these are numbers I think are important to bring awareness to. 66% of people reported feeling unworthy. I remember struggling with my sense of worth. And maybe you do too. You know, have you ever felt unworthy of success or unworthy of love? I remember I struggled with both of those things and even unworthy of being happy. I'm so grateful to say that I am no longer at that place, that I have a level of clarity, inner trust and worth that from here, from this place, I've been able to empower hundreds of women and really stepping into their worth and developing that level of inner trust and inner strength. But like I said, it was not always like this. You know, I remember, I remember being a little girl and being told what was worthy, you know, good grades, not being over the top, you know, people pleasing, you know, having kids, being successful. And of course that manifested. And I remember, I remember a time when I was an adult, I guess I'm still an adult now, but I was swimming and I was in a pool and the deep end was quite deep. And I, at the time I wasn't a great swimmer. And I remember being in the deep end and getting really nervous, like kind of like hyperventilating, like panicky. Um, and I kind of went underwater just for a moment. And in that moment, I didn't feel like I was drowning just in this pool or panicking in this pool. I felt like I was drowning in life. Really, I was in the pool of unworthiness and I was drowning, just caught in false expectations of worth, false expectations of who I was and I was exhausted. And I realized in that moment, as I was able to get out of the pool, that I had to make a choice. And I made a commitment that day. One, I became a better swimmer. And two, I thought about that little girl, that me who was eight, nine, 10 years old being given these false expectations and narratives of worth. And I realized I had to make a choice for us. So I got mentors and coaches and I really got out of the deep end of the pool. And when I say I was in the deep end, I was in the deep end and I'm five foot one and a half. So it was a process to get, to get out. But coming back to that 66%, when I saw and read those numbers yesterday, my heart, I felt it. And I decided I had to do something, so I did. October 18th to 20th, I'm gonna be hosting my Embody Your Worth live event. This is normally an event that I run for $97, but next month I'm gonna be doing it for free because everybody deserves to feel worthy in the world. Our worth, it's not a commodity. It's not something you get to trade, barter, or give away. Your worth is inherent to you. It is your birthright. It is part of your divine blueprint. So I share this with you. If you struggle with self-worth, if you just want to feel more worthy, come. It's free this time, October 18th to 20th. During this event, I'm going to be sharing three kind of things, you know, some takeaways for you. And one of the takeaways is going to be a stronger connection to your self-worth. Why? So you can live with more choice, energy, and desire, and confidence. I'm also going to be sharing a little bit of my limiting belief ladder process so you can climb and rise above any perceived limitations and really live with more inner trust, clarity, and confidence, and strength. And I'm also going to be sharing my inner flame activation so we can turn insight into inspired action and you can keep the momentum of this three-day event in your life so you can keep moving towards your desires and passions. I see you. You are worthy and you always have been.